We'll go over what the Postman Token Scanner is and how it can help keep your sensitive information secure. So it's a built-in security measure in Postman that scans your public Postman entities like workspaces, collections, and so forth uh, to see if you have any exposed authentication tokens. And if any revealed tokens are discovered, you'll be immediately alerted so you can take the necessary steps to revoke them before they get exploited. And there are a few different ways that these scans will get triggered, and let's explore some of them now. So I'm in a team workspace here, and so nothing I do here is going to be available to the public. It's only available to myself and my team. But if I were to say, let's put in an API key here. So this is a Postman API key, um, and then click Save. Um, I'm not gonna get any alerts, because again, this is just specific to my team. But as soon as I take the steps to make this workspace public, revealing it, revealing everything that's in here to you know, anybody that wants to find it, um, that's when I'll get an alert. So let's go ahead and flip this workspace from a team one to a public one. I'm gonna do that by clicking workspace settings, change it from team to public. And you can see here, I have a little notification that says all data will be made public. And in this case, you know this is not great practice, but this is what we wanna do for this video. So let's click update. Right, and it says that everyone can view the data in here. And we're gonna get this notification down here below. And it tells us that we have an exposed token. Um, and it also tells us that we you know, will receive an email from this address. Um, so let's go ahead and actually see what that looks like. So this is in my email. And we can see that it tells us basically that we've revealed a token, it's been publicly exposed. Um, and it gives us the information on what was exposed. So it tells us the name. Uh, it's not gonna give it the whole value, but this is what it is. And here's the really helpful part is it tells us exactly where to go. So this is a link where I can click it and it will take me to that collection. So let's go ahead and do that. And it gives more information on you know, what to do and what else to, you know, what steps to take. But let's click this link and go directly to the collection so we can go ahead and see you know, where we revealed our information. And we see, right, this is exactly what we just entered. Right, we still have notification up. I'm gonna dismiss it for now. Um, and we can see, oh yeah, this is public and this value is in here. That's not great. Um, so that's one way you can get notified is, is changing things from um, team level to public level. I'm gonna go back to this original thing that we were working on here. And now let's do one other way. So everything's already public in here. And let's say we want to actually leak our Slack webhook URL. And again, this is not something I would actually want to do. This is, these are things that would happen by accident. Um, so if I click send, nothing's going to happen because I haven't actually saved anything to make it public. Right now, anything I put in here is not public until I click save. So let's go ahead and click save. And we can see that now we have tokens exposed at two instances. So we get the notification directly in the app or in our browser here. And I'll go back to our email and show you what it looks like to have the two different notifications. And here we go, right? Same idea, we can see we still have this Postman API key being leaked. And now we also have this Slack webhook being, uh, being revealed as well. If I click this, it'll again take me to that same spot. And we see we still have a notification that we have an issue and it takes us to the place where we can go to change it. So these are two of the actions that will trigger that alert. Um, you know, you saw it work for a Postman API token. It works for Slack webhook URLs. And by default, the token scanner looks for over 25 different types of popular authorization tokens, and we're always adding more. And also, if you're on the Postman Enterprise plan, you also have the ability to add your team's proprietary third-party app tokens that aren't supported yet using custom alerts. And for more information on that, check out the description below. Thank you.